guys he's legit yeah. it's amazing he's... these uh longer body types have been so good anderson silva bones jones yep. a lot of these guys have you know you, you i you know wouldn't think that you know you'd think someone maybe shorter or stockier and getting the inside but did you see Zabit? Long seems like a huge Did advantage. you see Zabit Saturday night? Yeah, yeah it was a great Magomed fight. Sharapov. <laughs> Say that five times so, fast. Like I said when, before Ooh, we came on the podcast, yeah. as soon as Dominant. he came on, I'm going 6'2", 145. Dude. You couldn't find a skinnier guy, I thought. And then I saw him fight, and man, he was just but, so impressive. But fast and strong. Impressive. At 145 and 6'2". I guess Hoist was, you know, he wasn't real tall, but he was like 6'1", right? But he was 175. Hmm. And, you know, he was obviously fighting in the unlimited class, and he right, was fighting right. guys like Dan Severn at the time, who was, right. you know, 265. Zabi is, is thin, but he's got muscle on him. Like, yes. he's kind of jacked, like, when you look at him. He's, he's got, like, a perfect frame. He's yeah, almost like he's a, awesome. a little tiny Luke Rockhold in yeah. a lot of ways. But with a way more dynamic game, he could do everything, yep. that guy. He was really interesting to watch. Yeah. the first time I ever saw him fight. So. Dude, that guy is fucking phenomenal. He's so talented. That was the first time I saw him fight live. And it's, it's a different thing when you see someone live. Like, you see someone in a video and you go, wow, that guy's good. But then you see him live and, you, you know, your brain has like a little computer where it's seen or, you know, you've got, you've got a database, especially me. I've seen so many fights. I have a database of how people move. And then you see that guy moving like, whoa, what are yeah. we looking at here? Because I love seeing that. I love seeing this next level shit, that next level thing like whether it's you know connor or whether it's uh, tyron woodley or there's every now and then you see next level and you go oh like tyron woodley to me he fought carlos condit and there was a, a moment in the condit fight where he stepped forward and snapped carlos with a, a straight right hand i was like whoa that's like 10 percent faster than it should be yeah you know what i mean like you, you get used to world-class athletes yeah. moving and then you see someone like Edson Barboza switch kick. That's another one. You're like, whoa, whoa, yeah. baby. You know? But 